Hello! I would like to welcome you to the Laramie K Optician Works Training Center, where today we are going to take a macro view of working with vision plans. I am going to say something that I haven't said in quite a while. We have a little bit of housekeeping to take care of. I've got this whiteboard and one more before we get to our visualization exercise here. Let's start at the beginning because the beginning is a good place to start. What the heck is a vision care plan? It is an agreement between three companies. A company, company number one, the vision care plan company, it is a company that positions itself to provide discounted optical goods and services. That's it. That's what they do. It all began with buying groups and then it grew. The second company is a company that wants to offer its employees a benefit. What is that benefit? Access to discounted optical goods and services. Company two. Company three, the OD's office, a company that agrees to offer fixed discount amounts to the members of company one, that vision care plan. That's it. That's what a vision care plan is. It is not insurance, but we call it that. There's no way around it. It's kind of in a way like Band-Aid and adhesive strip or a Kleenex. All right, we call it that. I'm going to use the word insurance, but it isn't. Insurance is a hedge against catastrophic healthcare costs. And there is no potential for catastrophic healthcare costs in an OD's office. A pair of glasses, a box of contacts, and a routine I exam with an OD does not have that potential. So we call it that, but a vision care plan or better even a vision plan is not really a form of insurance. Housekeeping part two, this is to save some of you the trouble of sending me hate mail and explaining in great detail how vision care plans or insurance have ruined the optical business. Laramie K, my employer, is an independent wholesale optical lab. 100%. We do not deal with vision care plans in any way, shape, or form. So you can kind of understand that we are pro-independent. I am the director of education for Laramie K. My job is to teach people how to be good opticians. I am not the director of social and economic justice. It is not my place to educate people on the horrors of vision care plans. So enough of that. What does independent mean? An independent lab, OD, or optician chooses all of their goods and services and they price them as they wish. That is a true independent. Most ODs will be semi-independent. There are fully independent ODs and opticians, and obviously a lab. Go guys, go. You can do it! Semi-independent, they participate in vision care plans, but they still have a good relationship with a independent optical lab. They do sell goods and services at full price, buying from the independent lab, wholesale, marking up, retail, semi-independent, we'll call those. And then there are the fully not independent. Your ODs that are corporate, e-stores, I'll leave that for those who know what I mean. The OD and the staff only work with and for a brand and a plan. Folks are not independent. So right or wrong, 90% plus 
will participate. So as an optician, a new optician, a person studying to become an optician, you must understand this stuff. You are going to do it. And why not get a leg up on it now? Because wow, ho, ho, there is so much to it. Probably one of the hardest parts of being an optician. There is so much more to cover. Look, go to join the Optician Works website. There are amazing step-by-step -step examples. I've got many experts. Um, Sharon went through it all about a year ago, gave us all kinds of new examples. Fantastic stuff over there. I would encourage you to go and check it out. We are covering the big picture this week. We'll wrap this up with a visualization exercise, and then we'll get into the details next week. Let's go through a visualization exercise that I call playing the insurance game. If you are a new optician about to start your first job, you must understand this. You must understand that it is not just you and your customer sitting down at the dispensing table. There are five people or five companies, if you will, involved here. There are five unique perspectives looking at the game board, and they are all asking how much can I get out of this transaction? Number one is the customer in this case. I just randomly put one there. They are often the least informed of all of the people sitting around the game board. So you, the optician, poor you, well, you have to be ready with the answers to all of the questions that the customer is going to ask. The customer genuinely wants to believe that their employer is giving them something of value, that their vision care plan has worth, and you're going to make them feel that it does. Another player at the board, you don't see them, but they're there, is the customer's employer. The customer's employer gives away or provides employee benefits, enhances the job, the customer wants to believe that that benefit that their employer is providing has value. The customer's employer is paying the insurance company to provide that plan, whatever it might be, to their employee. They are sitting at the table, folks. Be aware of that. Never talk down the plan that the employee customer has. They want to believe they're getting something. They want to believe that they're giving something. The third person sitting at the game board is the practice owner, the OD. 99% of the time, this is what we're talking about. They are agreeing to take less, roughly 40% less on everything that they sell, all of the services that they provide, in order to get the insurance company to drive people in their door. It's kind of really basically how this works. They are sitting at the table too. Your employer, you're the optician, this is your employer. You're working the game board on their behalf, but they're at the table also. Four, the fourth person sitting around the insurance game board. Well, you, the optician. Poor you, you have really got the hardest job here. You are the representative of the company for the practice owner or the OD, your employer. You have to know all of the different plans that that employer may offer, three, four, five different vision care plans. You have to have all of that information to field the questions the customer will have for you. And to you ODs, your managers, your supervisors out there, for a new optician coming in, busy practice, for them to fully understand all of the different plans that you offer, be competent at filing them. Okay, you're looking at about a year. If you expect a brand new optician to just pick up all of the subtle scenarios of every vision care plan in a couple of weeks because somebody shows them once, you are sadly mistaken and you have very unrealistic expectations. And optician, by a year, you should be able to answer the phone, drink coffee and be keying in your vision care plans at the same time. 
people should start coming to you and asking you questions about how you might file or how you work up a particular job. But in between there, you got a heck of a lot to learn. The fifth person, if you will, or company sitting at the insurance game is in fact the insurance company or the vision care plan company. Now they win every single game. Never fool yourself. None of the other players at this are winning anything. They're all scrabbling to survive, get the most that they possibly can out of each of the transactions. The cards are stacked in their favor. The fix is in. The insurance company is betting, they know, okay, they're not really taking much of a risk, that some of the people from this employer who pays them to access their plan will use all of their benefits. The family of six with six kids and mom and dad all wear glasses and contacts. A couple of their employees will just get a routine eye exam because they don't need glasses. And then some of their folks won't do anything at all. So in the end, the vision care plan company makes out best. The doctor, I just mentioned, they are taking less to get more people. The insurance company's winning. Indirectly, and we'll talk a little bit more about this next week, the customer is also paying the insurance company. So they win every game. Because the house always wins. Play long enough, you never change the stakes, the house takes you. Again, visualize it. Literally close your eyes and picture people sitting around a game board. You are not alone. You are not one person. You are not two. It is not just your customer. As an optician, you must recognize it's the customer, the customer's employer, your employer, and the vision care plan company as well that are sitting at the board. Next week, we'll talk a whole lot more about the minutia, the details, the small stuff about how you actually think about filing and working with vision care plans. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching us on Facebook, please do give us a like. Watching us on YouTube, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there in the corner and make certain that every lens that doesn't require the use of a vision care plan comes from Laramie K. And I will see you again next week. Sadly mistaking, mistaken and it's